Okay, welcome to uh, part one of our plane mirror ray diagram tutorial. So I'm going to start by just showing you um, the laws of reflection. Les lois de la réflexion. So we have um, angle of incidence, which is the angle at which the light comes into the mirror, is going to be equal to the angle of reflection. Now, what we mean by that, we're going to show. So I'm just going to draw a straight line here, and that's going to represent our mirror, the miroir. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a protractor, and I am going to, well first I'm just going to use the ruler, and I'm just going to make a line any direction, so I can go here, I can go this way, that way. I'm going to come in on sort of a 45-ish, see what that looks like. So here we go. This is going to be our incident ray. So we're going to make an arrowhead to show the direction of that light. I'm going to put an eye here to show that it is incident. Okay, now the next step we have to do every time a ray of light hits a plane mirror to do these diagrams, you need to make a line at 90 degrees. Okay, so that's perpendicular to your mirror. So I'm showing that with the protractor. So I line up my zeros on the mirror, okay, like that, and I'm going to just make a little note here with the top of my protractor to show that 90 degree mark, okay, hopefully you can see that on camera. Take the protractor out of there for a sec, and I can even use the back of the protractor actually to make this line, all right, so we're just going to trace that dotted line. We're going to mark that with an N. Okay. So in French, we call that la normale. And in English, it's la normal. Okay. So pretty similar. Now, what do we mean by angle of incidence equals angle of reflection? So that means that this angle here, okay, we're going to measure this angle with our protractor. That's going to equal the angle that the light reflects back on. Okay. So we need to use our protractor and measure that angle. So we take our protractor, and we're just going to put the zero on our normal and the 90 on our mirror line. So note the protractor's orientation here, slightly different than what I just did to draw the normal. Okay, and we're measuring that angle here. So between the normal and the angle, all right? And that's called our angle of incidence or angle of I, l'angle d'incidence, all right? so. If we can look at it, I was pretty close to 45. I actually have almost 50 on the dot. So we're going to call it 50 because that's, yeah, it's pretty well 50. All right, so we're going to say 50 degrees right there. So we just measured that angle. So now we know that our angle of incidence is 50 degrees. So I'm just going to note that up top. Okay, so that means that this has to be 50 degrees. All right, because that is a law of reflection. Plane mirrors, when the light comes in and hits the mirror, it's going to reflect back on the exact same angle that it came in on. You can see our arrowhead indicates the direction of the light, so our light is coming in, hits the mirror, and now it has to bounce out on the same angle. Okay, so we have to measure 50 degrees, so we just use our protractors. If you want to look closely, we had the zero on the normal, and we had our 90 on the mirror. All we're going to do is just rotate our protractor, just like this, okay? All right, so I'm going to put the 90 on the mirror again here. I'm going to line up that zero right there. Okay, now obviously you can't draw through your protractor, so you're just going to make a little mark at 50. All right, and you can use the back of your protractor or a ruler, any straight edge really. You're just going to line up those two. Okay, so right there. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna put an arrowhead here to show the direction of the light. So incidence and then reflection. So we're gonna put an R here for reflection and we can call this angle here 50 degrees as well now, measured. Okay, so that's part one of this plain mirror tutorial. This is just the law of reflection. And you notice that the angle of incidence comes in and it goes out on the exact same angle. 